Hello programmers. In today's class we will see what are macros in open office, how you can create a macro using macro recorder and different ways to run or call the macros. First of all let me give you a small definition for macros. Macros is a saved sequence of commands or keystrokes that are stored for later use. Macros are especially useful to repeat a task the same way over and over again. That means you can save the sequence of command or the keystroke for later use only and then there are tasks which, which we uh, repeat or which are repeatedly used so instead of repeating the same task you can record the task and then you can call the macro wherever you want to repeat the task. Now one more thing is openoffice.org macros are usually written in a language called star basic or just basic that means uh, the the coding or the language in which the macros are written in open office is known as star basic or we simply call it as basic only. So to explain it I am taking an example of students in different sheets I will take different students and I will calculate the uh, four semester marks of four subjects. I will record uh, the calculation or the formula in one sheet and I am going to repeat the calculation by using macro or I'll run the macro and then for other students I don't need to repeat the task I just need to call the macro and use the formula. So for this I've taken uh, sheet 1 in sheet 1 I've taken one student Raj what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the fields in another sheet change the name of my student Instead of Raj, I'll keep it as Rahul. And yeah, I'm going to change the marks also. And I'm going to copy it another sh in another sheet for the third student. going to change few marks and one more. So this way I have taken three sheets for three different students and in one sheet only I am going to record the macro and in uh, other sheets I am going to run the macro which I have recorded. So this way I can save my time and energy both. So for this for starting your macros recording, go to tools menu, select macros and then click on this record macro. When you click on the record macro, you will get this and this is the stop button to stop your recording. Once you have finished with uh, recording your commands, click on this stop recording and then give name to your macros. This way you can create a new macro. Here I will start typing the formula. I will take equal to the cell addresses and then I will take some of these marks of subject 1. So I've got the total in my subject 1. I'm going to copy the formula by using this fill handle. So this way I have copied the formula and I've got the total of all the four subjects. Once I've done this, I'll stop recording. Now here this uh, these are the uh, library containers. And this is the name of my file. As you can see, the name of my file is untitled too, as I have not saved my file. So this is here. Now here you can create a new library. Click on new library. So the default name is library1. I am not going to change the name and click on OK. Once you create your library, you will get a module, module1. Module1 is a default module name. If you want, you can create a new module by clicking on this this will create a new module. I want to keep it module 1 only and in this module 1 I am going to create my macros. Now here uh, this is a default main macro which is always there. It's an empty macro which is uh, 
created automatically created by open office and here i'm going to give the name to my macro so uh, here i'll give it name as um, result result and i'll click on save so my macro is saved now i'm going to create one more macro in this I will uh, use to uh, here I'll uh, reset my uh, this um, the spaces the cell addresses that means the total I will reset or clear it so for this I will click here and I will go to tools macros and then again I will record macro so here I'll just delete the result this is just to delete the result once I have finished, I will click on stop recording. Now here uh, this module 1 is selected as I created just now only. I am going to give it a name as clear or reset I can give it. I will use reset and then click on save. So I have created two macros. One is for calculating the result. Another macro I have created to clear the result. So now I will start running macro. Now to run the macro is keep the cursor where you want the result to be calculated where you want the result. Go to tools and then macros and then run macro. When you will click on run macro you will get this dialog box. Select the macro as my macro is in untitled 2 which is the name of my file only and I have created a new library which is library 1. There I have got module 1 and these are my macros. First of all I want to calculate the result. So for this I'll select my macro name as result. Click on run. So this way you'll get the macro. This way you can run the macro. I'll go to another sheet for another student. Now one thing you have to remember. The cell addresses of the marks and the uh, formula should be same only. This is the uh, we can say a drawback of open office macro that the cell addresses should be same when you are using when you are running a macro it should be same so i've kept the same cell addresses in all the three sheets see i've kept the same cell addresses here also i'll get the result in b7 in this sheet also it is in b7 and in sheet one also i've recorded in b7 only so for second sheet i'll go to this and then click on tools and then macros and then run macro and then here I'll select my library, select module 1 and result is my macro. I'll click on run and I will get the result for second student. This way it saves our time and energy. Now we have seen that uh, the macro selection process is a little bit uh, slower. So for this we can use a more common technique uh, that means uh, we can assign a macro to a toolbar button, uh, this toolbar button or uh, we can even use a button embedded in our document here. So uh, I'll show you both the ways here. First of all, I'll show you how to add a button to run a macro or to call a macro. Uh, for this, I'll take sheet 3. I will go to view menu. In this, I'll select toolbars. I will select form controls toolbar. So this is my form control toolbar. Click on this design mode. This is a toggle button. Once you click it, the design mode is on and uh, to uh, make it off, you have to click it again. I'll click on this design mode. This is now off. When you click on this, you'll get the uh, different controls. Select push button. That means the button. I'll take one button and right click this button and then click on control. Now here you'll see this dialog box. It has two tabs. One is general and another one is events. Let me tell you what are events. When something happens, we say that an event occurred. That means, uh, for example, you can take uh, when you open a document, when you press a key, when you move your mouse, these are all events. And open office allow events to cause a macro to be called. So, uh, so macro is then called as event handler. So here I will use one of the event which is mouse button pressed. Click on this dot dot dots. Now here mouse button pressed event is selected. Now go to macro. 
for assigning the macro this is for assigning the macro now select the macro i'll go to type untitled 2 which is the name of my file the library name is library 1 and my module is module 1 click on this so in this push button i'm going to assign result macro and click on ok so after this click on ok now give your push button a name or a text as it is the push button is displayed i want to give it a, a proper text so i'll use result only result if you want you can give name to your button i'll give it as re and then close it so this way now one i have added one button to assign macro uh, i'll take one more button to reset the result i'll click it and drag it the same way right click it go to control and then select events events i'll click on mouse button pressed click on this mouse button pressed and then assign another macro i'll get this macro selector go to your file the library and the macro now i will use reset macro and ok and ok this way now i want to change the text also or the label whatever you say i'll make it as reset so i'll give it a name as clear and then close it so this way i have added two button one for calculating the result another uh, to call a macro for reset and then once you are done with your designing part click on this design mode off so now you can close this so these are the two buttons click on the place where you want the result and the result so this way you can get the result or you can call your macro so i've called my macro with the help of this button you can even reset these text uh, these cell addresses by clicking on reset it will clear the answer you have to keep the cursor and then click re uh, reset so this is the way you can call your macro by using a button now we will see how you can call a macro by using toolbar now to add a toolbar to call your macro uh, i'll select sheet 2 only here i will um, I will first go to view click on the toolbars option now this toolbars will display all the toolbar now if you want to customize your toolbar click on customize as I want to customize it so I'll go to customize now this customize dialog will have four tabs one is for menus keyboard toolbars and events and as I'm going to add a toolbar icon to call a macro so I'll select this toolbar tab now in this toolbar select the toolbar in which you want to add your macro so I'm going to add my macro in this standard toolbar only so I can select it from the drop down now here after selecting the toolbar click on this add button as I want to add my macro now this will uh, give you add commands now select the category I will select open office macros and then this is my file name untitled 2 this is my library which I have created and this is the module 1 now this uh, I will use a result uh, I'm going to add a result macro in that toolbar click on the macro name which you want to add and then click on add after this you can close it and ok now as you can see in this standard toolbar I've got the name of my macro here so uh, for executing it I'll just clear this I will clear it manually only and then you can click on result first of all uh, place the cursor and then click on result so this way you can call the macro by using a toolbar icon also and by using buttons also best part of using the toolbar icon is uh, this toolbar icon will be available in all the sheets of my workbook you can see it in sheet 1 also it is there result is there sheet 2 also you can see this sheet 3 also or so that means it is available uh, for all the worksheets of your uh, workbook click on result and you'll get the macro run so uh, 
this way you can create a macro using macro recorder in our next class we'll see how we can use macro as a function but uh, before this um, this i'll show it in our next class only uh, how we can use macro as a function but i want to show you the uh, the coding behind this that means how we can view and edit the macro so uh, how uh, these are internally stored click on the tools only select macro and then you can select organize macros and then select a language there are so many language given python basic so as it is written in open office basic i'll click on open office basic only select the macro for which uh, the module for example i'm taking module one and then uh, select any of your macro uh, for example i'll click on reset only i'll select reset macro and then you can click on edit so this way you can go to open office basic this is the base basic language now as i told you this uh, there is a main mod, uh, module uh, this there is a main uh, macro which is already there it's a default macro this is an empty uh, macro which is created by open office only and uh, this is the subroutine for my result macro and when you scroll it down here ends the uh, the subroutine for result and starts a subroutine for reset and then end of uh, that reset subroutine now what are subroutine how to write function that we'll uh, see in our next class i hope you understood this we'll meet in next class only